yeah, just, you know, we love. We love. Guys, I'm shocked. Right, hello everyone. So this is a very exciting haul. This is a Commence official clothing haul review. So they have clothes which are sort of dupes of like Odd Muse, Zara, House of CB. So yeah, it is legit, it's not a scam, which a lot of people have been thinking. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I've got a couple different things. I've got six items. Unfortunately, only three of them have come at the moment, so we have to do this video in two different parts. But yeah, I'm gonna walk you through. Some of these are just insane. So it's a co co cocaia, cocaia, I don't know if we know that, but one of them is a dupe of that, which I am obsessed with, but it's an Australian brand. And yeah, getting that over here, it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, I'm gonna walk you through the items that I've got for this um, commence haul. And then what I'll do is I'll try it on. I'll show you what it's like on that model, just so you can get an actual comparison. And I'll let you know if it's actually worth it because that's my main concern. So while they have sent me this, I said I will do an honest review. So yes, exciting. So we will click, click off a bit much. What's that mean? We will kick off. That's what I'm trying to say. We're gonna kick off with the commence clothing try on haul. So yeah, the first one is the solid tube top with wide leg pants. I've, it's an apricot color. I've got it in a medium because I'm a little bit concerned whenever I get trousers if it's gonna fit. So I am a size eight, but I have massive hips. So yeah, that's that one. It's US dollars, it's $59. Um, not too sure what that is in pounds, but yes. Then next we have the elegant, uh, so, so yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't think, I can't think of what this is a dupe of, but I have seen this on different kind of like, um, you know, ads on Instagram and TikTok. So that's that one, not sure what it's a dupe of, but love it. So that's that. Then we've got the elegant A-line mini dress in it's a white and a small. And that I'm hoping should be fine because I've tried on the Odd Muse stuff. I mean, I don't know why it's a completely different brand, but Odd Muse, I sort of, Small is the right size to go for, so I've just gone for the same. Um, this is US dollars, forty-two dollars, and I can actually show you these ones because these I actually do have. So, first initial thoughts is this is, looks very similar to the Odd Muse ones. The Odd Muse ones, however, are like I, d I really don't know how to describe it. I'm really great with words today. But this is more like flexible. It was kind of like thicker. It's thick material, this, but it was, it's more diff difficult to bend. That does not make sense. What am I saying? Uh, basically, it was just more kind of structured. And I kind of prefer this because I like being able to sort of move about a bit more. Whereas the Odd Muse one's beautiful, stunning, and perhaps maybe they just shape you in more. That's why. So we'll see. But this feels great. So it's what we asked for in life. Uh, Fake, oh, real pockets. I was gonna say fake pockets. We've got two pockets on the front there, guys. So that's the white one. Uh, next up, we have suiting sleeveless, short dress. Uh, it's 36 US dollars. I've gone for a medium just because it's so short. I was like, maybe it'll be a little bit longer. Um, and this is literally the same dress as a Zara dress that I'm gonna do in a Zara haul, which I can link. Um, but yeah, I, I'll do a little comparison to see what, which one's better. Um, and then, oh, I can show you actually. So that's this. I've not tried, you know, we're, we're yet to see what it's like on, but I'm hoping that's not too short. It looks decent. It looks decent, okay. But it, it actually does, like it's not, you know, sometimes you order from places and, you know, it's a little bit, you can tell quality's not great. This actually looks really good. So I am pleasantly surprised. So that's the black one. Right guys, next up, I just thought I'd just sort of show you a different angle. We've gone for the summer dress. Um, this is like a dupe of House of CB. So this is called Rosebud Floral Midi Sundress Pink in a Small, and then that's $42. Um, I am pleasantly surprised by this commence clothing because this looks very similar. Um, and it's, again, it feels like, it's like thinner, not as thick. I stretch, I, do you know what I mean? It's, it's softer kind of fabric, but I'm hoping that that doesn't matter because you've still got the ties, etc., at the back to sort of hoink you in, cinch you in, I don't know, something. 
Uh, but yeah, it looks really, really cute. So I am a fan of this for our comments haul. This one I really wanted to try on. So yeah, House of CB, just a bit expensive. So this is a good alternative, but we will see if it actually is. I'm just hoping, I'm praying, praying. Right, and then the next ones on this commenced clothing review is the multi pocket button sleeveless shorts sweater dress. This is in a black and it's a size small and it's $45. Yet to give you to show you that one. Also, the image isn't loading on my laptop, so I'm not too sure what this one looks like, but you can see it here, so that's fine. Um, and then lastly, this is the commuter sleeveless sleeveless commuter suit sleeveless vest with shorts set white in a medium i've gone for medium again because it's short so it's a little bit panicky and i was like i think this is fine to look a little you know baggier than too tight it's 55 dollars um and yeah this is the kukai kukai i don't know how you say it but i saw a girl on tiktok in this stuff it looks insane and i hope it looks as insane on but yeah so that's all of them we're gonna try them on guys Let's get going, there's a massive fly in my room. Too much. The Odd Muse dupe, and I actually love it. Like, I don't wanna say this, but I think I love it more than when I tried the Odd Muse dress on, purely because of the length. Like, this is a decent length to sort of wear to work. I feel like how short some of the Odd Muse ones dresses are, it's probably not very appropriate to wear to work. Um, but this is a really good length. It still does, do you see what I mean? I feel cinched in. Um, it's just a bit tight here, to be honest, but that's okay. And then the sleeves, I feel like the sleeves were quite cutting on the actual odd views, and this one isn't too bad. Um, very aware that they're there in this little neck thing. But apart from that, I just think it looks really cute. I think it needs a bit of an iron, but I think this is perfect for work. So I'm just a bit, just a bit happy actually. I don't know your thoughts, but I think this lo looks sort of definitely worth the price. This is like £150 in Odd Muse, so yeah, really, really pleased with this alternative. Oh yeah. Looking brilliant. Yeah, just, you know, we love. We love! Guys, I'm shocked. Right. Okay guys, so this is the dress that looks like that's the Zara dress, but anyway, it's just kind of your, um, I guess your sort of staple work dress. So it's called like suiting sleeveless short dress, suiting, does that make sense? Um, I'm pleased I've got the size that I have, because I think, I mean it's a little bit short, but it doesn't feel as short as the Zara one I had, where it does feel like it rides up. Um, I mean, I do obviously have massive hips, so this, this is the situation that we're in. Um, but I just think it's just a really nice little basic number, you know? I'm quite, I'm shook, I'm shook at, I'm surprised at how like, I am actually surprised at how decent quality it is. I think this looks like it could be from, from Zara itself, so. Yeah, and thick kind of material, it's looking, it's looking like a really smart work dress. So if you're working in the likes of Bank in London or something, girls, this is the one for you. Yeah. And it doesn't ride up too much. That's my, I really got to say that because I hate dresses that you get and you've got to wear a long coat to work because it ends up up here. So yeah, a fan. And apologies, this is a yet another day. I've kind of lost the, um, the video where I did actually do this one before. But you know, here we go. We can't win them all. Oh gosh, there's a wolf there. Um, right, I don't know how far back I need to go for you to see. Maybe I'll just move the camera down. Let's do that. Okay. This is the length. It's got like the cinching in sort of ties at the back. So I need to probably do this. They have tied it. It is quite long is the only issue. But I think it's so pretty. Um, I don't, you don't really need to wear a bra with it because it pulls, pulls things in here and here. That, that was a fly that just flew on by. Um, I just love the colour and I just feel like a bit of a princess in it. So, yeah. I haven't actually tried the House of CB one on so I don't want to say that, um, 
this is better, just in terms of looks wise, I think it looks very similar. Um, so yeah, this lens ball is doing, doing well. Um, and we've got a nice little split here, which I didn't realise before. I think it even says split, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, doesn't, just says sundress. So yeah, I think this is really cute for $45. Um, but yeah, to show you, you've got like nice little ties here and then this does up this just could potentially be a little bit not as long um i feel like you need a friend or well anyone it doesn't have to be a friend somebody to tie it up um because it's quite difficult for me to tie it up on my own uh to the, as tight as i would like it wow god it does really go in lord if i'm struggling to breathe now um but yeah i will anyway on to the next one Right guys, this is nearly the end of um, the commence haul. I have got another two items, I'm still waiting on one. Still waiting on one, it's just because I was very specific that I wanted this item and it's um, not in stock. They're waiting, so it will restock in June. So this is my, this. that's why it's taking a while. So it's my own fault really, but yes, so the next items we have is the solid tube top with wide leg pants. I've got this in a medium just because I was concerned what the trousers would be like. This is what the top is kind of like. It's that sort of cute little heart sweet neck. At the back it looks like that. It's quite thick material. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, so that's that one. And then the trousers, I'm hoping these look actually not massive. So I'm hoping that they're gonna be okay, but they just look, I mean, they would need a bit of an iron for sure. But again, decent quality. We've got, would have liked, oh, actually no, I was gonna say would have liked a black button, but probably use these for other stuff. Um, and yeah, these are just wide leg trousers. So these would look good in the office. I'm wondering if they'd be see-through. It's looking okay, which I'm shocked at. I'm shocked. So that's that one. <laughs> This one I'm actually very excited to try on. This is the multi pocket button sleeveless short sweater dress in black and small, $45. I've got to say the other one was $59, a little bit more, but you do get two items. Um, yeah, I love this already. It's that kind of thick sweater material. Only concern is, is will that be a bit hot in summer? I, the, but it will be comfy. This just feels comfy. So that's the only thing. And I've been trying to find something like this that actually like shin or shin have stuff like this, but then it's like thin material and the quality doesn't look great necessarily. Sometimes it does. So this is giving expensive, this looks like it could be an 80 pound dress, but it is not. So yeah, excited to try that. And it's got a white hem bit at the, oh, at the front and back actually. Uh, only concern is it might be a bit short, but it was short on the, the model, so. Should have, should have expected that, but yeah. Let's try these ones on. Right guys, so this is the multi-pocket button sleeveless short sweater dress, $45 usually. I love it. I am actually upset. I can't get over how like comfy it is. The only issue is I do think it's a bit short. I would have thought this would be like perfect for work. I still think it is, but it's just, very short, do you see what I mean? Um, but like the buttons and everything, it just looks really expensive. It's looking very old money. Um, so yeah, impressed. Just wish it was a little bit longer would be the only feedback I would give. But apart from that, she's very happy, very. Right everyone, so this is the solid tube top with wide leg pants. Uh, so this is the set. I have gone for a medium, so this is apricot, because I was worried that these trousers would not fit me if they were small, and I'm correct. I think it was a good shout. Um, yeah, I just think it, they'd look, be way too tight. The only concern then is, weirdly speaking, because this bit, well yeah, this bit is a little bit, I think, loose. But I think, I think we can work with it. And I'm thinking with some sort of black sunglasses, um, I'd probably wear brown cute little shoes, like Hermes kind of things, and then like a black bag. I think this is beautiful for the south of France. 
is my kind of thought because she is going soon. Um, yeah, I will definitely be bringing this. I am a fan. It's, how much was it again? $59. I don't know if, I mean, it's a set, so I guess that actually isn't too much. I've got two items here, but a girl math. That's actually $30, a little bit less each item. Cheap, really. Uh, but yeah, buttons are quite cute. I think it looks, it's sort of thicker material. It's not looking super cheap. It's not giving Shein, Shin? Don't know what you say, don't know how you pronounce it. Um, where some stuff can be a little bit of a hit and miss. Whereas this, I'm actually quite impressed. I know, I'm being honest here, because I would, I would say otherwise. Um, but yeah, the only thing, that I would say with this is a bit of concern is just how it's a little bit loose for me. Apart from that, I'm a fan. Right, so this is the commuter sleeveless. <laughs> this is the commuter suit sleeveless vest with shorts. And this is the Kukai, Kukai, Kukai. can never say it, but it is a dupe. I, well, I'm assuming it's a dupe of that. So, I really like it. I'm not sure about the buttons if it's, I think this is exactly the it, the same as the um, Kukai one. I think H&M or some other brands do it where they've got different buttons that I quite like, just so you can kind of see it a little bit more. Um, but I'm pleased I've got the size that I have. Uh, maybe I'd have it actually a little bit smaller on top, but shorts wise, I don't think I could have really, um, done much better than these. I think I'd be like probably squeezing into them. So these are good, they're a decent length. I don't know if you could get away with this at work, but definitely, definitely um, weekend. I had glasses to go with this that I can show you, but they just look horrendous on me. That is um, the influencer that made me get this collection. Um, let me see her name. Right, she's found them. These are the fake, sign uh, fake Celine I got them off like TikTok or something somewhere random, but like it's giving, it's giving three, three blind mice. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, uh, and the influencer is Ella Squire. That's what I was going for. Maybe if you've got your hair in like a slick bun, this, these don't look like three blind mice. They look like the actual Celine ones. That's what I was thinking. And then like little sort of, maybe like little kitten heels or little, little sandal heels. Sandal heels? Mules even as well. Uh, yeah, so that's what she was going for. Let's take these off quickly. Let's do that. Um, yeah, that's this and I love it. I actually am um, obsessed and not too badly priced. Cool. Right, guys, so that is it. That's all of the items. I don't know your thoughts. But just from trying it on and seeing also what it's like on the model, pleasantly surprised. Um, I have ordered, I always panic now about ordering stuff where it seems slightly cheaper than the actual thing and you order it and then it gets here and you try it on and it looks really like rubbish quality, basic, yeah, not great, thin material. And then, yeah, you've got to send it back and it's a nightmare to send it back. It's just a bit of a drama. So then that's why I typically steer away from those kind of brands now. But, and I'm not just saying this because they have given me the clothes, um, but just from viewing stuff, I mean, I, you can have your own opinion too, but I am pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I would definitely order from them again. I think, yeah, for me, I was gonna order the Coke, Co I honestly can't say it, that I wanted definitely anyway. So I was like, right, is it, should I really be buying it from Australia? And then what if it doesn't look good on? So I'm actually quite pleased that I've got it from Commence instead. So um, yeah, and then I saw all the other dresses and stuff that they had on there. So yeah, hope you liked this review. Um, let me know your thoughts below and if there was any dress that you, dress, any item that you preferred uh, or was your favorite. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your days. Um, and please subscribe if you don't already to see some more stuff. And then, yeah, let me know as well if there's any other brands like this that are just um, a bit different. That would be good to try out for you guys. Um, cool. Thanks. Bye.